It's that time of year. We're talking holiday wines, festive cocktails, wine for gifts, Christmas dinner wines, and more. I reached out to our Vino VIP members and asked what questions they had about holiday wines. And they had a ton of great ones. Holiday wine cocktails, gift wines at all different price points, gift wines for different types of people, and Christmas dinner wines. Happy to say we're going to answer all of this in this video. Before we get started, spread the love this holiday season and give me a quick like and a subscribe if you haven't already, and let's get to it. Before we get into the nitty gritty, we can't do it without sipping on a cocktail, right? Here's my checklist for holiday cocktails. They should be easy to produce in bulk. That means no shaking, muddling, or straining. They should look pretty, and they should be easy to make. No tough measurements or hard to find ingredients. This cocktail checks all those boxes. It's essentially a instant holiday sangria, and there's only three ingredients. You need Saint Germain or another elderflower liqueur. You need red or white wine. I suggest a light white, like a Pinot Grigio, or medium bodied fruity red, like an entry level Tempranillo, and a sparkling wine, ideally Prosecco. And that's it. Combine one part Saint Germain, two parts wine, and two parts Prosecco. Mix them in a pitcher and pour them over a large ice cube if you have it, and then garnish. And this is where you can get creative. You can even put out a little decoration bar for your guests. Cinnamon sugar rims, cranberries, apples, oranges, rosemary, and cinnamon sticks. Or put the drink in a big punch bowl and then put your garnishes in there. This cocktail gets its body from the wine, the sugar and the floral notes from the Saint Germain, and the texture, acid, and spritz from the bubbles. Delicious. All right. Now that we've got our cocktail out of the way, let's talk holiday gift ideas. I'm going to try and give you a whole bunch of ideas at different prices for different categories of people. My first advice is that when buying these gifts, I'd highly recommend you buy them at a wine shop, not a grocery store. And if you want to know why, check out our How to Buy Wine video. And while I'm going to give specific recommendations today, you can also just take the categories of wine I recommend and chat with someone at your local wine shop to find something similar. And by the way, all the wines I recommend today, I'll put in the description. Our first gift is for your office colleagues or employees, something where you need to get a lot of gifts for many different people and palettes for under $20 a pop. A simple, crowd-pleasing wine that won't offend anyone. For this, I like Champagne Method sparkling wines. Everyone will find an excuse to open a sparkling wine sometime over the holidays, whether it's when they have friends over, or for New Year's, or for cocktails. If they know nothing about wine, they'll appreciate having it around for the right occasion. And if they do know something about wine, well then they'll appreciate that it's champagne method or traditional method. While you can't get true champagne from France at this price point, there are some great alternatives that are fairly easy to find at around $20. Piper Sonoma Brut, which is from Sonoma County, Gruet Brut from New Mexico, Graham Beck Brut Cap Classique from South Africa, or any Cremant from Loire, Burgundy, or Alsace would also be great. Our next gift is a classic. It's your boss or a high profile client, or maybe a rich in-law, anyone where you kind of want them to know how much you spent on them. In my head, this person likes wine, but isn't an expert and probably likes classic producers. This is where I tend to go with your blue chip wines. On the beaten path, big names. Napa Cabernet, like Schaefer's 1.5 Cabernet Sauvignon, or Silver Oak, or Opus One. Super Tuscans from Tuscany, like Sasakaya, or Antonori Tiganello, or champagne names they know, like Vuv Yellow Label, or Dom Perignon. What about the person who you know nothing about, but you need to get a wine gift? Your landlord, accountant, yoga instructor. There's a great wine out of Santa Barbara by Stoltman Vineyards called Love You Bunches that is Sangiovese made with carbonic maceration, which is a method that produces bubblegum-esque fun wines. This wine is fruity, fresh, while still having complexity. It can be served slightly chilled and will please both non-winos and more experienced wine drinkers alike. Let's talk about a gift for you. You know what would be a great way to treat yourself? A Vino VIP membership. Vino VIP is our members only club that gets you early access to all our videos, including YouTube videos and full episodes, members only content, raffles and giveaways and more. Plus our show is independently produced and your membership helps support us. 
So if the show and the videos have brought you any value, please consider supporting and joining Vino VIP. Membership starts at just $5 a month and the first month is free, so sign up today. What about your hipster friends? The ones who are into skin contact or natty wines? There's a natural wine producer out of Berkeley, California called Donkey and Goat. It's one of my favorite producers of all time. Forget the fact that they're natural wines. I'd recommend anything they make, but their Chardonnay Pet Nat and their Grenache are favorites. I'd also recommend looking into Slovenian or Northern Italy skin contact wines or orange wines. Most natural wines aren't nationally distributed, so your best bet is to head to a wine shop that specializes in this sort of thing and chat with them about their offerings. How about your friend or family member who actually knows wine? Maybe they collect, work in a restaurant, or see themselves as a foodie. This is where things get fun for me. My first recommendation is Domaine Hue. They're Clos de Bore Vineyard, either they're sec or demi-sec. This Chenin Blanc from Vouvray in the Loire Valley is one of the best producers to ever exist when it comes to this wine, and your wino friend will appreciate it. Hue farms biodynamically if that's important to you, but the wine is so good that they don't even really advertise that fact because they don't have to. Their reputation speaks for itself. If you want to buy this wine and lay it down and age it, it'll age beautifully. It's a great food pairing wine with its acidity, slight residual sugar, and bruised fruit character, and is truly just one of my favorites of all time for a price point that I think is really reasonable. Another wine that I love for wine lovers is La Rioja Alta's Viña Ardanza Reserva. Again, a classic producer. This one is from Rioja, capable of laying down or being consumed right away. Think cherry, coconut, and spice. I also love Ojai Vineyard Santa Barbara Syrah. That's an incredible blend of New World fruit and Northern Rhone pepper and spice. And for richer reds, they'll appreciate a South American wine that they know has more value than most places in the world. Dom Melchor is a near 100 point Bordeaux blend that while expensive, is way less money than the same quality level from other places. All right. With our gift giving out of the way, it's time for Christmas dinner or Hanukkah dinner or whatever you celebrate. The point is there's gonna be food on the table and you need some wine to go with it. I'm not gonna worry so much about pairing this meal since I don't know what your traditions are and what you're eating. So I'll simply recommend some wines that I think are solid picks no matter what you have on the table. But if you do wanna know about pairing, check out our How to Pair Wine video series, which I will put in the description. Bubbles are key for any holiday meal, so I'd recommend a good Prosecco, like Biso Geo Prosecco Superiore for something fruity and fresh, or a great vintage Cava, like Caves Roger Goulart Grand Reserva that's more complex but won't break the bank. For whites, crowd pleasers like Chardonnay are always great, and I'd recommend Mathiasen's Linda Vista Vineyard Chardonnay for a lean style of Napa Chard that pairs with a lot. But why not leave California? Australia makes some incredible Chardonnays from their Margaret River region, like Vas Felix, which is a great blend of lean salinity meets fleshy fruit character and slight amount of oak. And finally, for your red wine. When you talk to Italians about their special occasion wines, many will say Barolo, and Pio Cesare makes an amazing Barolo, which is the Nebbiolo grape that's elegant yet powerful, cherries, tar, violets, and tobacco. By the way, to learn all about Pio Cesare and Piedmont, make sure to check out our full Piedmont episode. New Zealand is making some killer Pinot Noirs right now for $20 to $40, and Love Block Pinot is one of my favorites, and it pairs with a ton because it's got a bunch of fresh, juicy acidity. And if you're looking for some juicy, rich California wines, Dry Creek Vineyards makes an Old Vine Zinfandel that's delicious and Turnbull's Napa Valley Cabernet Sauvignon is a great value for true Napa fruit and a classic expression of the wine. Rich, powerful with dark chocolate, cedar, and dark fruits. Finally, someone asked about Christmas cookies. Grab yourself Sirocco Moscato de Asti for a light, peachy, slightly fizzy, slightly sweet wine for any sugar or fruit cookies, and Braida Brachetto de Acqui for a beautiful, fizzy, strawberry, slightly sweet red for any berry or chocolate desserts. Whew, man, that was a lot of wine. I hope you at least treat yourself and get some wines just for you as well. Let me know your favorite holiday wines in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and please consider making my Christmas by joining Vino VIP. Thanks again. Until next wine.